Hello everybody, everybody, the Warming Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we started again with doing like a few more side quests in the Gruda area. We collected more of these balls and uh, to do that, find a couple of them, we had to do a couple more quests too. Like one of them we had to try and do a race to try and get to the, like a certain toy thing that you can find. So yeah, now we have placed all the balls at the correct place and there is this uh, opening here that we can check out. <laughs> And we have this thing. Our hearts are full with gratitude and praise for the one who saw us in the all that we could be. We have enshrined our, an appropriate gift in the sanctuary at North Garuda Ruins. We've, uh, the outside orb near the eighth statue should, should be the key that, that opens the way. Should be fine to come inside now, right? I want to be a, get a better look at the, at the stone Stella. Mm. Mm, I see. North Gerudo Ruins Sanctuary. It says the giant orb is the key. Mm. There's some large ruins located at, at just north of Gerudo Town. Beneath them is a place called the Gerudo Sanctuary. I've been there often in my research. Once I found an entrance leading below ground on the north side, but time I can figure out how to get inside. No, the, no, though I think this large orb might be the key to the open the way to beneath. And if I'm right, it's the truth about the mysterious state, which no one has ever learned before, will finally come to light. Ah. So I have to, I, I'd have to carry that thing. I got into archaeology to look at things, not carry them. Eh? I'm going to trust that task to you. You only have to carry it a little ways up to the North Garuda Ruins. It should be no trouble for you. Do this much for me, and I'll consider you a full research partner. The truth about our mystery eighth will be something you and I couldn't cover together. <laughs> okay, so where that is, is thankfully over there, so not very far. We still have to carry it quite a ways, so... <laughs> Just... Start walking towards there. Are you serious? Alright. Don't mind me, just moving on a big boulder. First, we're gonna get hurt along the way. Gonna ignore that guy over there. Should be around here somewhere. Oh boy, uh Of any of the things you hold. Should be here somewhere. Yeah. 
here? Oh, yes, it is here. And it opens! Do we have to move some of these? Wait, no, it is the right way. I just need to move the right one. I ignore you. Okay, so I'm gonna use a bomb to destroy that here. Hurry! That's your the eighth heroin room. Long ago, monstrosity of the sands attacked Gerudo Town. The war cry rang out over the dunes like a raging demon. We seven heroines of the Gerudo, the most stalwart, chosen by, surged forth to engage it. But yet this monstrosity tossed us about like the tumbling weeds. We feared that the proud Gerudo would be ex extinguished. And then a rumor appeared, a hero appeared out from afar. We marshaled the seven heroines, counseling us to combine our strength. The strength upon the strength of the we seven routed the monstrosity. We named our benefactor the guiding light of Gerudo. Yet, they, we, yet though we had not but the highest praise for him, he was refused entry into Gerudo town. It was Gerudo loved that all of those like him were barred. How hollow our gratitude and praise must have rung in this hero's ears. There was the link between his people and the Gerudo severed. Though we never bequeathed to him the gifts to which our feelings are bound and is enshrined at this sanctuary. Let's uh, open this, this chest, I guess. Gold rupee. Uh. So we can grab these rubies, uh, sapphire and topaz. I guess we head back to Gruta Town now. Still underground. She's still underground. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, what happened to that big orb? Huh? Well, you found your way into the sanctuary. The giant orb was the key after all. Well, did you learn anything about our mystery eighth? Huh? What the eighth was about, is that true? Sultan, if you ask me what I thought the truth would turn out to be, I never thought I've guessed this. Say that what we learned about here will... Uh, I bet what we know of Gerudo history is an understatement. Ah. We have to write up, up these findings as soon as I can. Don't worry, I'll mention your contribu contributions, contributions as well. Uh, hang on. Oh? What, should I, what name should I credit you as? Eh? Like, uh, that's a funny coincidence. Must be nice having the same name as Princess Zelda's favorite swordsman. I, I'll, I'd write, I'll write this report up nice and thorough. I know you're excited to read it. But before I forget, this is your reward. Diamond, next time you see me, I'll be at the star of the archaeology archaeological society. Well then, some work. Okay, that quest is finally completed. It feels like that was like the for longer ones. Next up, what I do want to do is I do want to go and uh, buy one of the clothing that can prevent like heat. For all this time, I've been I've been without it. Try and be over here. Basak, hi. There's another quest, but I want to go over here. Oh. I guess we can do this quest here. Everyone, including me, has been able to get back to our, to our normal lives. And it's all because of you, Sark, so... You know, we owe you all you owe a great debt. I think I can begin to repay by crafting this Arms of the Seven for you. There are a sort, there are sort of a shield passed down by the Gerudo. They can be wielded by a chosen indiv individual. <laughs> Talking about the similar Scimitar of the Seven, and the Daybreaker, of course. They are crafted using a special technique only known to me. I have chosen to keep you to carry them. Will you let me make the Arms of the Seven for you? Yes, please. Nah. That's a spirit. Okay, then. I just need to gather some materials for me. Can you can you do that? Because we told, I'd like to gather the materials for me myself, but the, it is the duty of the bearer of the arms to do that. Mm -hmm. I need four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo scimitar, and a Gerudo shield. Oh, of course. Even a decayed Gerudo scimitar will do that trick. Okay, then once you gather all the materials together, come and talk to me, okay? Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah. Well, let's go and uh, cook this first. But I think where we can get one of the things is over. Wait, oh crap. Um, so I think what we can do is we can fight that Madoga creature that we fought before. Like for another quest, but and I think he appears again at this place right over here. I'm not sure if he responds, but maybe. Here we go with this fight. Crap. Okay, let's go. Of course, try this again. Come on, over here. Oh, are you serious? It still happened. <laughs> okay, I'm stupid about this one. So apparently you need to shoot an arrow near it and then it will come up like so. You don't even need to get hit for this. 
Attacking, so you don't want to want to like get away from that. gonna go over here for i i might have like wasted a couple minutes there for that fight but let's just head over to that ruins to get something else i guess so let's go to this shrine okay so we're here now now at this uh skeleton thing so we need to fight this guy over here Yo, just a few hits, it's down. I didn't take a picture of the star shock lights like stone. Oh. Oh, that's a Gruto shield. Oh crap. Uh I think if we drop down here, there should be another enemy to fight. I believe he's over here. Ooh, wait. Let's just start by destroying some of the rocks because we have enough bombs anyways. There's this other enemy that fight. Thing that we need. Yep. Yeah, Gerudo Spear, so um that's not what we want. Well I guess while I'm here I can start by farming these uh those here so we can hopefully gather some flint. Yeah we got one. Another flint. Come 
run. <laughs> we have like three flints, we need ten flints. Okay, um... I'm just gonna head over here real quick. Then the, I know there's a random mine here, so I can see some. Yeah, that's what I want. Well, here in this cave, like next to the Gerudo Highlands Skyview Tower, there is a couple flints just lying around. That's a hard shuffle. Just Now I, gotta, now I gotta just find some more flint. <laughs> okay, got another flint here. I'm at this uh, Rossboro Pass Cave next to this uh, Skyview Tower. Okay, here inside this cave, like, uh, I think, yeah, what, where this cave is, it's close to this shrine, and, uh, I found a couple more pieces of flint lying around, so, glad I'm at least starting to find more. Found another flint. Now we have eight, so I just need to find to two more flint. Okay, now all I need is only one more flint. Oh wait, I haven't fought these, this guy yet. Rock like. Okay. We have 10 flint now. So all we have left to do is find a, a Grudo scimitar. So I have to figure that out real quick. We need to go down here to this uh, ruins here. So the closest we can get to is fast travel to this shrine. So we're gonna have to walk the rest of the ways there. So I'll meet you guys once we get closer. We're coming across this ruins place. Head down. Yeah, 
Alright, we need to go through this kind of like prison area. First start by going left here. Here. We just need to send up here. Here it is. I think it's one of it's just we're above this uh, one of these like, things and yeah, here we go. Guru Scimitar, we haven't taken a picture of this yet. Here we go. So now I believe that is everything that we need for this uh, quest. So let's head back to Gerudo Town. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully we have everything. Yet. Hi. Basak. <laughs> hey. Mhm. Mm Why? Let's say you don't have all of it. What? Mhm. Mm Four diamonds? Are you serious? Mm. <laughs> Ma. Well, at least I know where one place we can get them is at Gerudo Town. I mean, again, I mean, uh. Uh, Goron City, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Okay. They can really have a lot of rupees, though. We don't have like any like rubies at all now, but oh well, it's for this quest, so I guess it's fine. Okay. Here's all your stuff. Basak. I know you can do it. This is everything I need to get get to work. Give me just a minute. Hope it's a good weapon for all this stuff that I, I that I had to grind. Ma. Pour my all my heart into making these. Here, take them. They're a fruit of true symbol of the gratitude of the Gerudo. From the seven. They make oh. breaker. You're the same person I made those for. Lady who was was the first. I uh, my sister even made them for the champion of the Gerudo some time ago. So that really just goes to show how ma amazing they are. It'll make me happy to, if you take good care of them. Mm -hmm. But I did make them be, to be used, so don't feel like you need to preserve them. Did they ever be ir irretrievably lost? Just bring the materials again, and I'll remake them for you. And also, you can also come and see me whenever you like, even though you don't need anything. <laughs> the blessing of the Gerudo be upon you. Okay, so that's just done. So, guys, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video. I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play 4. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Wonderful day, guys, and peace out.